Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to give you the inside scoop about all the mistakes that QuickBooks made when I reconciled a large client's account. So it's gonna be juicy. Just kidding, it's not actually. This is just a normal part of a bookkeeper's day and life, but it does kind of help address the question like, do we need humans to be reviewing what is in QuickBooks? And in my opinion, yes we do. Because the AI is getting better and better at predicting where things should be categorized, but we definitely still need bookkeepers to review it all, use our brains and our knowledge of the client to help categorize those things correctly. So in this video, I have nine mistakes that my QuickBooks Online made that I had to fix when I was reconciling my client's accounts. So the first mistake I had to work through when I was reconciling is that a transaction was literally just missing from QuickBooks Online. Like it just never fed in from the bank feeds. And so one way to find this error is when you go to reconcile, you click all the items and then you see what the difference is. So say the difference is like $45.00 48 cents and then you're like oh I wonder if there's a transaction on my bank statement that's $48 and or $45 and 48 cents and it's not always that easy like sometimes you have to do a little bit more digging but that is what happened in this case and I think what happened in this particular case is there was two very similar transactions from this Thai house I can't remember if they were different days I think it was two different days and it was almost the exact same amount and so I think maybe QuickBooks thought it was a duplicate and so it was trying to be smart and just didn't include that you know transaction and so what I do in this case is just go to new expense and I just put in the expense for the second Thai house expense all right and sorry for the lighting today it's going in and out of the clouds if you don't know me my name is Morgan and my website is finepoints.biz definitely check out my free masterclass about how I got my first three bookkeeping clients subscribe if you want to and a thumbs up helps me out a lot so the second mistake that QuickBooks made is kind of like the opposite so this is there was something extra in QuickBooks that was not on the bank statement. And remember the bank statement is what we are going by as like the correct source here. Not to say that a bank has never made a mistake, but in bookkeeping that is what we use as like the source. And I guess then if you know for sure that the bank does have a true error, then you'd have to go to the bank and like kind of like work on that with them and they would correct the error which that has happened to me before i can give you a bonus one is oh the bank reader read the check incorrectly so it was a handwritten check and i could see the check image because it looked like it was a thousand dollars more i think than it was supposed to be so in that case i did have to go back to the bank and have them change the amount of the deposit all right but going back to this example something extra in quickbooks so in this case there was an amazon expense that showed up in quickbooks i think it was like again around like fifty dollars and it was not on the bank statement and honestly i'm trying to think through why this would happen i can't think of why it would happen maybe there was a duplicate at some point and then one of them got matched to the bank feed and one of them didn't or maybe there was a canceled transaction i don't know but anyways my goal as a bookkeeper is to make sure everything that is on that bank statement is on the in quickbooks and it reconciles and it equals like there's the little zero at the top all right number three mistake was the wrong dates were checked in reconciling so this one i thought was going to be like a big problem because i was going through the reconcile process and my totals was off and i was like dang it i'm gonna have to go through every transaction see you know where it doesn't match up the problem ended up being was that every box was checked on the reconcile you know list but what i needed to do was go uncheck the two newest ones because those the dates were not on the bank statement so it actually ended up being an easy fix how i figured that out i could see at the top that the total i was off had like a funny sense so maybe it was like 525 dollars and 78 cents and then i went down and i looked and i saw a 78 cents at the bottom and i was like oh interesting okay so and it was like 25 dollars and 78 cents so i'm like okay that seems like you know it's one of the transactions that should not be included and then from there i'm like oh then i have that other 500 dollars and then right above it was a transaction that was 500 dollars so logically that makes perfect sense I uncheck those two things and then those will be picked up next month on the next statement because probably they went through the bank because you know how like bank dates can be off by like a day or two depending on when they process things all right number four 
mistake is that QuickBooks always has trouble when a vendor can be into multiple categories. So this is the time I have to go in manually as a bookkeeper and fix, you know, whatever they want to automatically categorize it with. And this is happening a lot with our health insurance because the health insurance just comes as the word like providence, I think. And then QuickBooks is trying to be smart and they're like, okay, I'm gonna categorize it as this every time. But there are multiple things coming from providence. So some of it is like someone's like Medicare. Some of it is like the health insurance for all the employees. So there's multiple things happening with that one vendor. So I need to go in, use my brain and make sure everything is correctly categorized in that case. Number five is check images not feeding in. So this is actually a great addition to QuickBooks that we we've seen in the last couple years is that you don't have to go find the bank statement to look at check images. A lot of banks are now allowing QuickBooks to upload the check images as an attachment on each transaction, which is very, very helpful to me because this client in particular does write more paper checks than I would prefer. But the error in this case is just that throughout the year, not every check image fed in. And I don't know, I think they're still kind of working out the kinks into that system. So some of the checks, I just had to go log into the bank, get the bank statement, download it and see what the check was for. The system I have with this client is they write in the memo line what type of expense it is. So they try to give me a clue as to where I should categorize it. And a lot of them now I just know automatically, like they write a paper check for the rent. I know what vendor that is so I can easily categorize it as rent. But as you know, with checks, the vendor doesn't feed in. Maybe eventually it will start feeding in, but I still have to look at the image to know the vendor. All right, and my next few mistakes all have to do with payroll. So payroll does get make things a little more complicated. There's more room, there's more, some more stuff going on, so more possibilities for errors. So number six is the payroll fee. For some reason, my QuickBooks can't identify that as a fee and categorize it automatically. Most of my transactions are syncing in as journal entries from Gusto to QuickBooks, but then there's a fee that has nothing to do with like the company payroll. It's literally just Gusto charging you for using their service. And so it's like 200 and some dollars. And I always need to go in and be like, okay, this is a gusto fee. For some reason, that one has trouble categorizing. I don't know what the reason is. So I categorize my payroll fee into an expense that is called fees. Number seven is that payroll sync. So it works perfectly, like I'd say 90% of the time. But then I did have one month where it didn't quite sync correctly. I think I did a few things to fix it. One, I went back into Gusto and there's a little button you can click, click that says sync. And then hopefully that should create a journal entry. Another, for some reason, I was having trouble with contractor payments too, because those look a little different than like a regular employee paycheck. And sometimes there are different dates. So a couple of the contractor payments actually, I think came through twice if I'm remembering correctly. So I just had to go into QuickBooks and delete the duplicate in that case. Number eight is an off cycle paycheck. So if an employee is let go or quits, they you know get a paycheck on their last day and sometimes that because of the timing of it it like looks weird in quickbooks so sometimes the owner actually writes them a paper check and then tells gusto like oh yeah i wrote a paper check occasionally it's direct deposited but for some reason i had a few that were like my questions for my accountant and they all had to do with people who left the company because like i said if the payroll is going normally then we're 90 percent accurate we're doing it and all the journal entries are feeding it looks beautiful but if there's something that is like a bump in the payroll system, that is usually when I find issues in QuickBooks. All right, and number nine is a check that is never cashed. So this in particular was an employee bonus check that they never just put in their bank. So how that looks in QuickBooks is when you go to reconcile, there's a bunch of you know stuff hanging out here. A lot of times it's gonna be like old dates, like you can see it was from like four months ago. And then you're like, dang, that person never cashed that check. And you can work with your client to get kind of a system for that if you have a lot of these you might want to get a regular follow-up for all the checks that you write if you don't write that many checks it might not really be an issue but you sometimes will have things hanging out like in the unreconciled area up here at the top in this case the person just forgot about it I think that maybe they lost the check and so we had to cancel the first one and reissue another check for that person and then they cashed it within a reasonable time frame and we were good to go let me know in the comments if you have other mistakes that you find like this in QuickBooks and if this video is helpful in kind of explaining like 
what I do when reconciling doesn't go perfectly. Thank you for watching all the way till the end and I will see you again next week. Take care.